All right, so if you use True Color, the app that shows you numbers that you don't have saved on your phone, well, here are eight settings that you can use that will give you full control over the app, starting with SMS. All right, so I'm going to check my airtime and um, usually I'll get an SMS. So let's just do it. So I should get an SMS now and you'll see that True Color will also send me an SMS as well. You can see over here, the SMS just got here. So if you want to deactivate this, here's an easy way to do it. So first I'm going to remove this and I'm going to open the True Color app. After opening the app, there are three dots over here, the top right corner. Tap the dots and then you tap settings. Next you tap messaging. Then you scroll down till you get to smart notifications. Just tap this to disable it. And from here on, you're no longer going to get the SMS pop-ups that appear whenever you get a normal text. And it's not just SMSs. This also affects normal phone calls. But I noticed that it only happens whenever you use the normal dialer app, not the true caller app. So I'll show you what I mean. So this is my phone number. And if I just call it, you'll see that this pops up. And if you don't like this, then here is how you can stop it from popping up. So open the true caller app. When you head over to settings, you'll see these options. Then you tap calls. Then you just scroll down till you get to this option that says, uh, after call details. So this option that says hide, hide for phone book contacts, you just need to tap here to enable it. And you're not going to get that pop-up after you're done making a phone call. But this only works for numbers that you have saved on your device. If you don't have the number saved on your device, then you're going to need to pay for the premium to stop those pop-ups after you're done making the phone call. If you wish to block spam calls using the True Color app, you just need to open the app and you go to settings, you tap block, and you can see these options over here. So you can tap basic to do basic blocking. You can read more down here. And if you tap max, you're going to have to pay for the premium version. So basic works very fine to block most spam calls. To set true caller as your default dialer, what you need to do is go to settings, then you tap calls. You can see over here it says set true caller as default dialer. So that's the, the third red icon. So you tap it and depending on your phone, just tap true caller and tap set as default. And it should be your default caller from now on. Still on calls, if you want True Caller to announce the name of the person that's calling you, just tap calls, then scroll down till you get to announce phone calls. So you tap here to enable it. And you can tap settings to you know do more stuff like change the voice and the rest, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. If I tap the search bar, you'll see that I have done some searches using the True Caller app, and um, these are just random numbers, they are not real numbers. So to clear your search history, you just tap clear history and tap delete. That's it. You no longer have your search history. If you wish to log out from True Caller, you tap here, the three dots in the right, top right. Then you tap settings. Next, you tap privacy center. Then you scroll down so you get to change my phone number. So if you tap here, you're going to get this um, message. So what you want to do is just tap I understand and I want to proceed and after that just tap confirm and you'll be locked out. So if you wish to sign in again, you're going to have to enter your phone number and wait for an SMS to confirm that you're the one trying to sign in. If you wish to delete your True Caller account, what you need to do is to tap on the top right corner then tap settings. Next you tap privacy and center then you scroll all the way down till you get to deactivate my account. So if you tap here, you just need to check all of this, then tap yes, continue. I'm not ready to delete my account, so I'm not going to go ahead with it. But uh, for you that want to, then this is how you do it. So those are all the true color settings that you can use to take control of the app. And if you have questions, let me know in the comments. And if you found the video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.